All right, greetings. Welcome to um, COM 101. My daughter's watching off in the distance. Just stay there, okay? Yeah. We're going to uh, talk about the deep listening journal. So what I would like to explain first is, um, I just say, 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 don't, don't, don't knock the computer, okay? Play with this, okay? What I would like to explain first is what the objective is for the deep listening uh, activity. So um, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be doing kind of a, uh, a self-guided listening meditation. It's not an actual meditation. I'm not, I'm not really asking you to <clears throat> focus on your breathing. Uh, I'm asking you to focus on your um, listening and just paying attention to the things in the background. So right now, you already hear certain things in the background of the video. If you're, you know, watching, you could actually even close your eyes while you're you're watching the video. Even though I tried to create like an aesthetically pleasing background with the plants behind me and everything. I'm sitting in my um, front entrance to my house. Uh, this is where we practice yoga in the mornings. It's where I do a little bit of meditation in the mornings. Um, but what I would like you to do is find a similar area. I don't care where it is. Right now, uh, if you could see behind me, you would see um, some icicles. Maybe I can position that real quick. You can see there's some icicles there. So currently I hear the drip, drip, drip of the icicles. Um, I hear my daughter in the kitchen. She's playing with a puzzle at the moment. Uh, it's, so, it's so funny how kids, their attention jumps from one thing to another. Um, it's only been a minute 40 since I started this video and she's already got her attention on something else. Um, so the purpose of this activity is to focus your mind to listening, to actually doing something we normally don't even pay attention to in the, in the, uh, the current era. There's so much going on, uh, that most of the sounds around us become muddled. They become, uh, blasé. They become part of the, um, ambient world. Uh, they're not focused on. So your job will be to take a journal over the course of five to six weeks. I want you to write, I want you to draw, I want you to make the fine found pictures. Um, you can write poetry, you can do whatever you would like in your journal. There will be a you know a, an, an entry per week. If you wanna do a mixed media kind of thing where you draw and you write, that's cool. If you wanna find pictures on the internet to illustrate and caption them, that would be fine. I just want to, uh, I want to see that you're writing down enough to jog your memory when you come back to looking at this information. Uh, so the journal is for your personal um, reflection. Uh, it should help you remember. It should help you focus on uh, things that you've experienced that are difficult to remember uh, six weeks out into the project. So your goal is to find a space, the same space every week, at the same time every week, if you can, right? I understand sometimes uh, I, situations are not ideal. Maybe you've chosen, you know, 3 p.m. on a Wednesday afternoon, and one Wednesday you have a construction going on across the street, and it's preventing you from really doing anything. So maybe you shift it to 3 p.m. on Thursday. That's fine, okay? I would like you to try to find the same time, same day, every week, and do this over the course of five to six weeks. Uh, and sit there for 15 minutes to 30 minutes uh, and just reflect, okay? I would like you to sit there, reflect, um, and then afterwards spend, you know, spend some time jotting down what you experienced. At the end of all this, I want you to write a one-page reflection on the experience, okay? Um, and that's the project. You're gonna compile all this stuff together and it's going to be a, um, a, a entire project. The, the first parts of it will be the journal entries, the, the, the second part will be the one-page reflection. Um, but now what I would like you to do, and I instruct you this in the uh, regular uh, guidelines, the, the written guidelines that, that accompany my video guidelines, is I would like to uh, listen. So I'm going to read some instructions. This is, um, this is an exercise. This is from Pauline Oliveros' book, uh, Deep Listening. I think it's probably backwards in the screen. Um, she is a professor from where I went to grad school, and um, she 
pioneered this practice of deep listening. <clears throat> so let me uh, let me let me read this this exercise. So I want you to sit either on the floor or on a chair. Um, if on the floor, use a cushion to raise your sit bones. If sitting in a chair, feet are flat on the floor. The legs should be crossed either in full lotus position or tucked in close to the body with the knees relaxed downward to the floor. Now my sitting position, I'm not on a cushion or anything. I'm just, just sitting on the floor. Um, a cushion would, would be nice. Um, and when I started sitting on the floor, um, I used a cushion, but uh, it takes a while uh, to get acclimated to the floor. Uh, it took me a long time, many years actually, to be able to sit on the floor. Um, it was a, a long process of training. So, uh, certainly don't feel like you, you are relegated to the floor. Um, I would even say maybe standing is an opportunity for this activity if you so choose to, but sitting in a chair, sitting on the floor, standing, uh, can all be taken into consideration. Posture is a relaxed upper body, chin tucked in slightly, balanced on the sits bones or the, the bones in your butt, and knees. Palms rest on the thighs or palms folded closely to the belly. Eyes are relaxed with the lids half or fully closed. At the sound of a bell or a gong, listen inclusively for the interplay of sounds in the whole space-time continuum. Include the sounds of your own thoughts. Can you imagine that you are the center of the whole? Use this mantra to aid your listening. With each breath, I return to the whole of the space-time continuum. If a sound takes your attention to a focus, then follow the sound all the way to the end as you return to the whole of the space-time continuum. At the sound of the bell, prepare to review your experiences and describe it in your journal. So this is just a uh, example of maybe a posture or a position that you want to take. I'm using the bell to, you know, offer some kind of um, open and close sequence here. But um, ideally, you'll want to do this on your own. You'll want to imagine your own bell, um, or maybe use the sound of a, a cuckoo clock or some type of uh, chime clock that that is repetitive. Maybe uh, it rings on every 15 minutes, or set your timer. Okay, that's a that's a possibility. You can use the timer in your phone. Um, so that's something you might want to uh, listen to. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to close my video. Um, I think this is long enough. And I want to challenge you, uh, maybe not immediately, uh, but within the next couple hours, the next day or so, to start establishing your listening practice. Just sit. Stand, walk, okay, lay down, close your eyes, and listen to the sounds around you. And we're going to do this over the course of five to six weeks, and I want you to reflect on that. Um, and just think about how sounds change, how your understanding and perception of sounds change. So that is the deep listening journaling uh, activity. So thank you.